All right, welcome to the Robert Show. It's day two at Snowflake Summit, and look who I have with me, Sanjay, who's the CEO and co-founder of RevFi. Uh, Sanjay, welcome to the Robert Show, and uh, I know your booth is so busy. So finally, good to catch up with you and learn more about Revify, what you guys do. But just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about it? No, absolutely. A pleasure to be on the show. Thank you. Uh, so th you know, thank you, Ravit, for having me. Uh, I'm Sanjay. I'm the CEO and co-founder for Revify. And prior to this, I was an ex-co-founder from ThoughtSpot. Right. It's another like a transformational company which brought the search in BI space. Yes. And before that, I spent more than a decade in Microsoft Research and in, in Google. With, with code like query optimization, large scale distributed systems and all. Right. So that's all about us. That's awesome, man. I know uh, we've been connected since maybe more than a year. I've been seeing Repify <laughs> grow massively and uh, you're doing something pretty important in the space. So congrats on that. And, oh, thank uh, you. I'm kind of excited to chat because I want to learn everything about data observability, uh, operations, yes. FinOps, what's, what's it all about? Tell us more about Revify and also tell us more about the operations with FinOps. Uh, it would be interesting. Yeah, so actually let me just uh, bring out you know the core intuitions and a real case study. Yes. So this is a $10 billion public company. And what had happened is that, uh, so when we were chatting with them, we asked them, you know, you have such a big cloud data warehouse. Now, how can we help? He said, right. well, we don't have time for a POC. We do need help, but we don't have time for one. And well, we said, that's perfect. We don't need a POC. You can uh, jump wow. on the Revify all within five minutes. You'll be up in production. Well, I said, well, that's one, but how about data access? Well, we can't give you exactly. data access on day one. I said, well, that's something, again, like, we don't need data access to get started. You will. Eventually, if you want to get more and more out of the system, you feel free to do it, but not on day one, because you shouldn't be doing it anyway. Yeah, exactly. So with that in mind, they said, fine, now that those frictions are gone, they hopped onto the Revify, and within three weeks, this is what happened. So they got an alert from Revify saying that, you know, this data is actually not the right one. It's, it's, uh, it's not there, what is expected. Now, notice that they never actually made a selection in the product to figure out what, how, and when to monitor. Right. The system is picking it up all on their behalf, understanding the patterns, and it pushed this to them. Mm -hmm. So it's like a smoke alarm. Well, then the next issue, so where did it happen? So now it's all about the five whys. So this is when now we can start moving from data observability more into the debugging phase. Mm -hmm. And within minutes, in fact, like within seconds, they're able to narrow down that this data didn't arrive because they were out of capacity. And they were out of capacity because someone had run queries, ad hoc queries, which were taking about half of their entire organization's capacity. Right. And you know the best part, like the resolution of this, the right issue was not to get more capacity. The right resolution was to actually figure out, is there a business justification for right. having a quarter of a million dollars worth of query? Unless you're giving me a top line, which is a multiple of that. Right. And, and it was all super, I would say, priceless. They, they removed the query <laughs> and... The wow. problem was gone. That is the right way to solve it. So now what you've seen is a convergence of a CFO kind of decisions like dollars. You're seeing observability, you're seeing operations all in play, right. all in one shot. And this right. is really the nature of cloud data warehouses. That everything you do here, the price, the performance, the spend usage, are so strongly connected, you cannot take out any one of them and have mm. a healthy data adoption. Exactly. And that's what Revify does. It brings them all together so you have a cohesive story. Very in interesting. You all also claim, you know, first of all, thanks for all those details. Yeah. I know Revify claims to be super quick to production. It's <laughs> like in under five minutes, and I've been, you know, obviously wanting to learn more about that too. So can you tell us more about it? Yes, so How does I... How that magic happen? So that's a great one. So here's what I will say. If you, let's say you were using Snowflake today, right? We right. would say, you know, before this interview ends, you can be up in production. Oh, because again, yeah. we said, you know, no POC and no data access required. Yeah. And of course, like we have all the compliances necessary anyway. But the idea is Revify is designed to give you back time and money. Right. And the way we do that is it's a very strong AI first approach. Mm -hmm. Revify builds this massively parallel dis or distributed graph, which includes the whole knowledge graph of who the users are, how much data is there, when is there, and right. uses it automatically to do inferencing. Mm -hmm. And for that, we don't need you because you can definitely override it to get started but it will create its own, uh, its own baselining and it will use that for inferencing right out of the box. And that's what makes it possible. An extremely automation first maniacal approach. Mm. And, and connecting all the dots together on behalf of the user. That's very, so, yeah, thoughtful. And it, so 
before this event, <laughs> before this interview ends, I can have things in production. Yes. Uh, well, uh, let's see how fast you can type. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So it's on us now. Okay, so I, I would, it. I'll make it more fun. We say that if you enter your email address, you are actually close to halfway there. You are halfway there. Just as, by the email. Yes, and wow. as soon as you go to verify.com and enter that, you can just go ahead and say, you know, what edition you want. Just pick enterprise. That's fine. Yeah. And then you just go ahead and it tells you a script to run and it will tell you metadata only access, Snowflake, just go for it. Right. It is exactly clear what we want. If you are up for it, we are done. After that, it's system which takes over. And that's the right way to build an observability or a platform like this. So you spoke about, you know, the large enterprise, but also, hmm. like I'm pretty sure with the medium enterprises or the smaller enterprises as well, it's like just the same or much yes. easier maybe. In fact, we say that Revify grows with your platform. Right. If you have a large enterprise, what yeah. you are truly looking for is, you know, am I, am I using it right? Right. When you're a person who is starting your platform, you want to know, am I setting it right for success? Hmm. So Revify in that way wears all these hats and it ensures that your usage of the platform is as lean and mean as possible. Best way. So that's yeah. why small companies, large companies, starting later, everything, it works very well for us. Right. Right, that's awesome. Uh, also quickly wanting to learn a little about Revify as the new AI-based data engineering assistant Neo. Yeah. And uh, you know, that I've seen you demoing for folks at your booth. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, just a little bit. Yes you know, for our audience as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think we are very proud to announce our data engineering bot. Yes. But the way to think of this is when Sashank and I started this company, we brought in knowledge of our like decades of experience in query optimization, debugging, True. automated performance tuning, infra selection, everything. So our goal was that, well, how do we bring that all to all our customers? So we codified a lot of that knowledge plus what else we've learned in the industry into our data engineering bot. Right. And that is what we offer to all our customers. So anyone who is on Verify can actually completely get on the platform, use it. It's up there for them. And it's going to help them decide, you know, where, where the problems are, understanding how to fix them and be wow. part of their journey. So, yeah. That's, That's awesome. That's uh, actually a good way for them to understand what are the... Yeah. Like if it match, matches their needs, right? Yeah. So it does Absolutely. make a lot of sense. Uh, also quickly wanting to learn a little about... Uh, mm. What's next for Revify? Where do you see it in the next six to eight months? I know there's been a lot of mm -hmm. AI, uh, you know, hype in the space as well, but uh, there are companies who are really doing the AI work. How are you looking at it? No, it's a, it's a great one. So what we say in Revify, if you look, in the last, like, almost like closer to more than two and a half years, we have built a very comprehensive platform, which right. includes right. not just smoke alarm recommendation actions, just quality observability, spend, performance, usage, name it, right? And then also compounding with data engineering bots and everything. We are here to bring more and more to the every user of Revify, every data team. Right. So you'll see it put on more hats, bring in more and more automation first approach, and of course, complementing it with the users on knowledge, very all important. in the platform. So yeah. you'll see it all come, it has been there, we'll continue to walk that path, and more and more so. That's and awesome. See more, just stay tuned, you'll see more fun, interesting announcements come can't from wait, us. Can't wait, can't wait, definitely. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, one last question for you. If mm -hmm. people want to reach out to you, learn more about Revify, where can they do that? And uh, if they also want to mm. do a demo, what's the best place? Yeah, so in Revify, we have built it uh, completely, we have built it to be self serve in right. that way. Right. If you are interested, go to uh, revify.com. Nice. You will see a get started for free. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and enter it. We talked about five minutes. You can choose to, you know, just enter your email address and be on our platform. And then, otherwise, reach out to us, like Sanjay at Revify.com. Nice. And uh, I would say anyone in our team, and we would love to, you know, sit with you and walk you through what, what the platform brings to you today. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing all the details. It's always good to see mm -hmm. how data observability space is also mm -hmm. evolving, how are the different things that you all are doing actually making a difference uh, in the space. So, any other thoughts that you want to share with the audience? No, I think absolutely. It has been, by the way, an amazing conference, like oh, Snowflake. Wow. Yes. We are gracing the audience and, of course, like a lot of focus on the AI pieces as well. So, perfect timing for us. Yeah. And I would say, you know, just, you know, give Revify a shot and then we'll see what else can we do for you. Thanks for taking the time out, Sanjay. It is such a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for all mm -hmm. the great insights. I know there are people around the booth. I'll let them <laughs> now do all the demo. But uh, thank you very much once again for visiting the Ravit Show. Oh, thank you, Ravit. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone.